know that they wanna do all the shit I've been doing, but they cannot do it. I whip through my city, my gang rolling with me, no time to stop. We keep it. Oh, what up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, and welcome back to another episode of C. Wilkins TV or C. Wilkins Vlogs. Whichever one you prefer, I don't care which. Um, I know I haven't vlogged or done a vlog video in about five days, but, um, you know, I figured I'd come back and talk to you guys about something. Something pretty, pretty serious. And that is the music industry and how everything is messed up. If you guys do or don't know by now, I've been doing music since 2010, um, on my own. Uh, back in high school, I had a band. Uh, we were doing really good. We had a great engineer who was able to actually make us sound very, very, like, really good. But unfortunately, the engineer himself fell into doing drugs. Uh, to be more specific, you know, more specific, he fell into crack, which sucked, which also led to, you know, the methamphetamines and all that. And soon after, you know, the rest of my bandmates followed suit. And so a good portion of them are either, pro unfortunately, probably dead or in jail due to their drug addiction. And it's that. Uh, it really is. Like, we had some great music coming out. But um, I'm here to talk to you guys, you know, fast forward a little bit past that to 2010 and on. And I've been doing music since then on my own. But there is one question that I get asked every day. And that is, why am I not signed to a professional paying record label? And as sad as it is to say, the unfortunate truth is because of my physical appearance. That's why I'm not signed. If you guys don't know, I was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. Um, I was born one pound, ten ounces. I was not supposed to live past birth. So every day is a constant fight for me. I wake up and face death and, you know, say, screw you, I'm going to live every day. And every day I get asked, you know, why am I not signed, you know, you know, you need to be signed, you're really good. And when I tell people, it's because of these record labels, you know, bashing on me, bullying me, telling me that, you know, I don't look how they want me to look or my sound isn't what they want to hear or that I don't have the money. You know, they get pissed off because they're like, dude, money shouldn't matter. It should be the talent, not the, you know, not the looks. And you're right. It really shouldn't. And for the record labels out there that have ripped on me and turned me down because of my physical appearance or because I don't have any money, all I got to say is you were once there yourself. You were in the same position that I was in at one point, and you know it. Like, what happened to the days of Elvis Presley when you didn't have to pay to be signed to a record label? What happened to that? What happened to the days of developing a music artist and helping them become better than what they already are? What happened to being fair? And you know what, it, what really gets me is the fact that there's so much talent out there like myself that deserves to you know, have a chance at music. But yet you guys pass every single one of us by because we don't look how you want us to look or we don't sound how you want us to sound. But what you record labels don't realize is that those of us that don't sound how you want us to sound, who have our own individual sound, that's what's hot. That's what's new. That interesting sound when you play it on the radio, that's what people are going to listen to. Everybody's tired of this fucking gangster rap bullshit mumble rap garbage. There's some of us like myself who have a very real message to put out that deserves to be put on the radio. 
like a lot of my songs, especially what I'm writing now, you know, pertain to anti-suicide. How bullying leads to suicide. What it's like to be bullied. You know, what it's like to be in that position. We have a very real message to send. Yet every single one of you passes by like we don't fucking matter. And yeah, I get that artists need to be, you know, able to invest in themselves. But what about those of us that don't have money? What about those of us like myself who have to take care of their mom because their mom was in a car accident two years ago? Or not in a car accident, but hit by a car two years ago and can't do much. I can't work. I have to stay here at the house and take care of my mom because she was hit by a car two years ago. So while our roommate works during the day, I have to stay here at the house and help take care of her. And yes, that gives me a lot of time to work on my music, but what I don't understand, what I really don't understand is why you pass those of us who actually have talent, who have a message to say. Why do you throw us and push us to the side? Why do you push us to the side for these shitty artists who are basically saying the same damn thing as these other guys. Honestly guys, your fucking rappers are no good. They're really not. And you want to know why? Every other fucking rapper says the same shit as the last one, just in a different way. It's literally the exact same thing. Every time. It's garbage. Nobody wants to hear garbage. What people want to hear is something that can help them. Those kids that have gone through suicide, that are going through depression, they don't want to hear gangster bullshit. They want to hear that somebody's out there and actually gives a fuck. They want to be able to turn on a song when they're going through that depression and know that that artist or that musician knows exactly what they're going through and is doing everything they can to help them. That's what needs to be played on the radio. That's what needs to be put out. Not this bullshit, garbage, fucking gangster crap. Because honestly, it's stupid. It really is. Because you know, I've been busting my ass since 2010. And every day I get asked why I'm not signed. And it's because you fucking record labels always want to talk shit. You want to bash on me. You want to tear me down because of my physical appearance. But what you don't understand is that I have more motherfucking talent than half your fucking rappers that are out there these days. And if you don't believe me, I can fucking prove it real fucking easily. Because I not only do rap, I do melodic scream vocals, I do classical compositions, I do pop rock, I do fucking, what do you call it, punk rock. You know, I do dubstep, I do EDM, and I'm creating a new genre of dubstep called Phantom Step. So dude, you want somebody with real talent? Take me on. And another thing too, this is this is what really just drives me up the fucking wall to no end. All you record labels sit there and say, oh, you know, like, we need you to pay us so we can pay these people and these people. What you don't understand is that you guys are going about it all wrong. What you need to be doing is signing the artist for free and taking, say, like a 30% to 40% cut out of whatever sales they make through music. You take that little bit and then you invest that into the label. And then you give the artist the rest. You guys act like you own artists. You don't own anything. You guys have got it so fucking twisted and fucked up. You guys are stealing from artists. You guys are making these artists into people that they don't want to become. And you're running the business all wrong. Because you see, like I said, instead of being business smart, 
You're being fucking money hungry ass little pigs. What you should be doing is signing your artists for free, bringing them on, giving them a record deal, and then sitting there and saying, hey, all right, you know, this is how much I'm going to take out each month. However much you make in sales, like, like, let's say, like, just for pure example. Let's say I put out an album that sounds like Linkin Park or Suicide Silence. And I sell, say, just out of pure example, let's say I sell 20 million copies of a CD or a digital download or whatever. What you then do is you take 30% of that money from all those sales. You take a certain percentage of that cut and invest that into your record label. And then you give the rest to the artist to spend on whatever they need or, you know, to like pay bills or whatever. That's how it should work. No artist should have to pay to be on a record label. It's bullshit and it's stupid and it needs to stop. Y'all got this game fucking twisted and fucked up beyond recognition. And yeah, I got a lot of people say that suck, but guess what? I have a lot of more people out there that say I need to be signed. Every day I get asked that. Just because I don't have a huge fan base, that don't mean I don't deserve to be signed. You sign me with a record deal right now, I guarantee you, with your help, I can bring in a fan base. I can get people listening. You know, it's not my fault that people don't share my stuff. It's not my fault that people don't pass my stuff around and make noise. That's not on me. That's on them. So you cannot sit there and say, oh, it's your fault that, you know, your fan base isn't growing. No, it's not my fault. All right? I share my stuff with my fans. I tell people to share around. But do they ever? Very rarely. So... How is them not sharing my stuff around to build my fan base? How is that on me? That's on them. That is not my fault. But honestly, y'all motherfuckers need to change up the game to, to the way that it used to be. Which is, you sign an artist for free. You do not make them pay anything. You sign them for free and bring them on. You have them sign the contract. You put them under a contract and let them do their thing. Let them do their own music their own way. They make sales. You sit down with them and talk to them, okay, now that you're making sales, this is how much a month I'm going to take out each month to pay for the record label, the engineering, and all that. And then, fourth and, you know, the fourth and final thing, give the rest of the money that you haven't taken from that artist to pay for the label and the stuff to pay your other guys and you give it to the artist you take what's left and you give it to them yeah I get that your engineers need to make money and I get that and you guys sit there and say that you're going to lose business you're wrong you're in fact going to gain business because when artists come in and see oh you know this record label is really dope you know they sign artists for free and they only take a certain cut, I guarantee you, you're going to get double the artists. Guaranteed. And it's alright if they don't have the sound that you're looking for. You can always reject them. But seriously, stop passing by these artists that have talent. Stop passing by people like myself who have very real talent, who have a message to say. Because we do have a very real message. And you know, I'm not trying to play a pity party or anything like that. I'm not trying to say, hey, sign me, sign me. I'm not trying to say that. All I'm saying is that y'all need to change up the game. Y'all need to take it back to the way it used to be. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of artists out there with a voice. There's a lot of people out there who don't have a voice who I am trying to be the voice for, which are those that have been mentally abused, have been bullied, 
for those that have been on the edge of suicide, I've been there. I've done that. I've lived that. And that's the kind of stuff that people want to hear. They don't want to hear this rapster bullshit gangster garbage. People want music that they can relate to. People want to be able to turn on the radio and say, hey, this is a good song. I really like this. You know, this is somebody I can relate to. I can relate to this person because this person knows exactly what I'm going through. That's the kind of music that needs to be put out. Not this bullshit that you guys got going. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. And it needs to be put to a stop. And if you guys do agree or disagree, if you guys do or don't agree, like if you do agree or you disagree with it, you know, that's whatever. You know, if you agree, give it a thumbs up. Comment. Say, hey, you know, it's awesome. And if you disagree, it's like, fuck you, you're an asshole. I don't care which. But this is a message for all you record labels out there to think about. Well, with that being said, this has been your boy Chance with another C. Wilkins TV vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, man. Peace.